Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. This is a part seven of the series. Uh, today we are learning about how to create and drop collections. Documents, database and collections. You'll, these are the three words that you would hear quite often in, particular, in this particular series. And also if you talk about any NoSQL database, especially in this context, which is MongoDB, you would hear these three words quite frequently in every episode. So I request you, please do check out the previous video where we covered extensively and exclusively I've covered and documented each and everything to explain you what is database, what is collection and what is data document. Make sure you go through that. Welcome back friends. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. I have planned around 21 uh, hands-on tutorials and live examples for you. I'm sure at the end of the series, you would master MongoDB. All right, so like I said, this is part seven. And in the episode number three, I've covered database documents and collections in detail. So make sure you check it out. All right, so like I said, like I do it in every uh, episode, I will show you both using the graphical user interface tool which is compass app in this context you can also use robo 3t or studio 3t like a lot of people use uh, there is no difference it's exactly same just how you use it some commands i'll also show you how to use visual studio code mongodb extension by running the commands all right let's get started so so to create a collection we will have to run a command which says db dot create collection and then we can give the two um, two parameters to it one is the name which is mandatory compulsory and options is by the name itself it's they are optional you may pass you may not pass for dropping collection we'll use db dot collection dot drop command right now it's important to get that context correct so i will show you that um, so let's get started first uh, first let me show you with compass app all right so when you open the compass app Alright, so this is where I will make notes for you. Uh, I hope you have done the homework that I've given you in the previous episode. I'll continue making notes here for the collection. So to create a new collection, we will have to run the command db dot create collection followed by the name of the collection, right? Alright, and then to drop uh, drop a collection we will use the command db dot collection name dot drop okay so these are the commands we will run so let's see uh, first in mongodb compass app the default uh, host name is local host in local and 27017 is the port number default to login so once you do that, you will see loading navigation. All right, so we have it here. So we have seen we created a testing database in the previous episode. So to create a new collection, click on create new collection and give a name, right? So you can give any name as long as um, it's fine, but just make sure you don't give keywords, right? That doesn't make sense for you to use like simple names like DB, database, collection. Just avoid these because these are too generic too vague doesn't make sense to your application as well instead give some meaningful you say for example if you are building a um, registration form for students so give something like students or you can say users right so give some meaningful name of an entity that you can think of right if you are building a shopping cart you can think of something like products or orders right so something like that so let's say we are building an orders right so let's create collection right so you can see your newly created collection is here. It has empty, right? So here you can see it says DB dot orders, right? So this is the database name. This is the collections name, collection name, right? Uh, there are so many things that you can do with it here, but we'll, we'll learn all about that in the progressing in the series. For now today, understand how to create, how to drop it, right? So in the graphical user interface, you have seen you have click create new option in the database, right? Create collection. Once you have created it, you can see there are three dots here. You can click on drop collection, right? So you can just do that and drop this particular. It will ask you to type the same, right? And just drop it. All right, so now dropping is nothing but it's like deleting it entirely, right? So this has dropped the entire collection along with data, correct? So this was about Compass app. Now let me show you in the 
Visual Studio Code. Now you can do the same here as well. Uh, you have connected to localhost, right? So I have shown you how to uh, connect to your local database, right? You go to the program file folder where it is installed. If you have not, if you are not sure how to do this step, please refer to episode number two where I've shown you installation of the MongoDB in all these environments. So I am in my uh, MongoDB server folder. Here I'll come and type mongo.exe. I will come into the shell. Let's type, right? So I told you the, so first, the first thing I do, I like to do is first I'll always type, uh, sorry. So it is show databases, right? So what I'm doing is show databases means first list down all the things that you want, right? Uh, show me all the databases. So I know that there is testing DB. So then I will say use testing DB. Now this is assuming that you don't have this, right? Let's say you don't have this here, which is visually you can see which one it is. So use testing DB. So now it says switched to DB testing, right? So now we are in testing DB. If you just want to confirm, just type DB, it says testing DB. Now I'm saying DB dot create collection and here I'm saying products, right? I'm creating a new collection by the name create collection products. So it says OK one, right? So let's go ahead. Uh, let's check it out here. Now when I expand DB, it says products under testing DB, right? So this is how you can create a collection, right? Let me show you one more. So I can say one more and I can say items. It says OK one, which means our collection is created. Just refresh and you will see items, right? Now this was about creating it, right? Now to drop it. So how do we do DB dot, right? So you know we are in the current DB, right? Which is testing DB. So now I can say testing DB dot products dot drop. Now here this the first is the database name, which is testing DB dot products, right? So I can just mention DB dot products dot drop. So now it says true. That means from this current DB, which is our testing DB, it has it is finding collections by the name products and then it will drop it, right? So now let's refresh this and it should be gone. See here, it's gone. Now I'll show you one more example. So now I'm saying from this DB, right? Always make sure that you're checking which DB you are in. It doesn't hurt. So testing DB, okay. So now I'm saying DB dot items dot drop all right so it says true now refresh now items is gone right so today we learned how to create the collection using the command create collection how to drop a collection using drop we have also seen how to use it with compass now your homework for tutorial number six is come up with create your own collections and try to drop. I would say whenever you're learning, you should learn it in multiple phases. So what I would give you is first create a new database. Okay. Then create a new collection inside the newly created DB, right? That's what you learned in the previous episode, right? DB, how to use, correct? So make sure you're learning both together. So you're Homework should be a learning of five plus six, right? Episode number five and episode number six. So create a new DB, create a new collection, then drop the collection and finally drop the database, right? So see your learning should always be incremental from episode number five. We have actually started hands-on tutorial. So make sure you learn how to do the homework of tutorial five which is to create and drop database. Homework tutorial of this chapter is a combination of fifth episode and sixth episode. So create a new database, create a new collection, drop the collection and drop the database. Once you do that, you will feel you'll start getting that confidence in you that you can achieve and learn MongoDB in no time. Again, I am right here to help you. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section below. I will try and help you as much as I can. In the next episode, we will learn a very, very important critical thing, which is data types in MongoDB. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. See you in the next episode. Do keep sending your love and comments. Thank you.